you are an original, one of the channel originals. Easy. Yes, it is time indeed. We're going to get ready to rock here momentarily. Let people filter in as we get started. Hopefully, we're uh, ready to rock here. <laughs> and everybody can see me and everything's going well. Not too many comments coming in. What is happening? All righty. Uh, let me check something real quickly on my other monitor. Yep, okay. All right. This says 40 people watching. I guess we're ready to rock. All righty. Please say my name. What is up, Gavin? Okay. Hey, you got, you got a mask on still? You got to update that. That was so like 2021. All right. <laughs> Let us get started here. So today, typically, it is going to... I What I do typically with these live streams is I, you know, you submit your work and I, I check it out. I give you a bunch of improvements. Today, we're going to do one thing slightly different, and that is essentially... Let me get rid of this. I That is essentially... I'm only going to pick out the one thing that I think your layout needs to be fixed the most. And I'm um, depending on you know what format you deliver that in, whether it's like a live website or Figma, I may or may not actually do the revision. I can just talk about it. So I uh, will try to move th through these quickly um, and we will get started here right now. Okay, so let's close out good old Photoshop there. And of course, instructions for how to submit are below. Um, before we begin, though, I will show you one thing here. Um, where is it at? I'm looking, looking, looking. Did, did I do that? Yes, all right. Okay, right here. Um, designcourse.com. If you haven't yet, make sure you um, check out the UI UX course. It's an interactive course with literally like almost 20 hours of content. Uh, and also, uh, it's not just video-based content. There's also design challenges and there's interactive tests, uh, UI fundamental tests uh, mo uh, modules, essentially. So if you go here, you can actually try playing the game. It's kind of like a game format and it's really fun. It helps you develop your eye for designing great user interfaces. So definitely check that out. Use the code STREAM23. You'll get 30% off during this stream only. So make sure to take advantage of that. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Do I use an eight point grid system? Actually, I do not. I kind of just eyeball things. And I try to develop a feel in that regard. I know it's it's a controversial practice, but it's, uh, it's how I like to rock. Okay, second off, there's a brand new YouTube studio on my property. It's uh, just like way over there. Um, and this is it so far. I'm gonna be fully decking out the interior uh, with drywall. The, the ceiling's gonna be black. There's gonna be a stage because I like jamming on guitar and drums in the back, but it's also gonna be in my YouTube studio. I'm gonna be doing epoxy metallic swirl swirl floors. I, I can't wait. So there will definitely be a video uh, of this once it's all ready to rock. Uh, yeah, that's me up there. Um, it's pretty high stuff. So anyhow. I can't wait for that. So that's what's been on my mind lately as they've been building it out. All right. So let's get started. Um, the first, I haven't checked any of these out yet. Um, so let's just, uh, so unfortunately, okay. All right. That is one person. All right. So I guess there's uh, an old design versus a new design. So let's check that out. So here's the old design. It's actually not that bad. Um, if I zoom up a little bit, I think this is the size it should be. So I've zoomed up to like 150, but um, let's just, Basically, there's no way to scroll, so this is just it. Let's check out the new design. All right, a little bit more, um, what do you call, um, icons and color. Um, outside of that, I would, on this resolution, kind of scale it up and maybe reduce the white space in the middle. But if there's one thing I would say that you should improve, actually, I didn't check this out yet. We're going to scroll down here. All right, so... The one thing that I think needs improved the most about this particular design uh, is going to be this section, the contact section. So if I, um, let's see here, zoom up. We have all of this space over here, um, all this empty white space. What I do instead of doing three rows versus uh, in, in two columns is to do three columns in two rows. You want to space this stuff out equally and not leave like a big empty white space over here. 
it's not a huge uh, adjustment, but for the most part, things are happening pretty well here. Like I said, this should probably be extended out a little bit further so you don't have quite as much white space on the 4K max uh, resolution that we're currently viewing this in. So uh, I do think, you know, there's not a huge difference between the first and second, um, the old and the new one, but um, it, 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 it does seem to be a little bit of improvement just with the, the addition of color. All right, next up is going to be Musab. All right, so this one, yeah, and have a form too. Um, embedded contact form is always, I would say, a must in my opinion. Now, I just literally looked at this design for two seconds. The first thing that sticks out to me is, what do you think? Like, what is just blatantly obvious about this design that you think needs to be improved? I mean, I think I could see it right now. In fact, you could just stand at the back of the room and not really be able to read any text and you'd still be like, all right, that is off. Well, I will answer that question. And that is this, if I zoom up, this and this. In other words, all of this and all of this. So what I mean by that is we need to expand. It's way too thin. Um, so what I would do is just uh, get F12 out here, see if we could find the container you probably have maybe a max width. Yep, 677 pixels. Hey, no, 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 no. Let's do like uh, 1,200 pixels. You'll see how much better that looks and fills out the content way much more. So that's the single thing in this context uh, that would be um, ideal in order to improve. Um, yeah, a good light mode right here. So that's solid. But that's the one thing. So let's keep on going. Uh, can I post a screenshot? Yes, you can. I won't be able to iterate over it, uh, but yes, you can. Um, Capcad said, can you check out the football app design on the right? Also, it'd be great if you could just quickly critique the landing page on the left. <laughs> All right. Again, uh, the, the stick of this live stream is just to pick out one thing. All right. So you wanted me to take a look at the football app design on the right. All right. So that's the first thing here. The colors are a little bit overbearing with the green and the uh, the blue because they're both very high contrast, bright colors. So, and it's kind of boxy as such as well. You're also missing some alignment, it, although you do have a, a thing here like a padding. It doesn't. It's not. It doesn't stand out enough. So, what is the one thing I would change about this? I don't know. I mean, maybe I would take and just remove real quickly and get, get that alignment correct and consistent across both of them. So I would take, uh, here's the original and then here's an updated. I would just take this, delete it, <clears throat> and then take this stuff, get that out there. And now it's a little bit more consistent in terms of the alignment at least. Um, you could experiment with, you know, possibly doing an analogous color or changing this up. Of course, you know, your type down here, that doesn't contrast enough still because this is such a bright green. You might want to consider changing um, the selection colors of white to like black. Although, you know, that part doesn't look that good. Make those white, maybe get rid of a stroke uh, on some of these things like these, like if I got rid of these. We'll simplify it just by getting rid of the strokes around those elements. That would be kind of like a, a better take in here as well, of course. All right. Uh, and then real quickly, I, I'll just take a look at this. I'm not going to do any adjustments, but you wanted me to take a look real quick, so I will. This is looking all pretty good here. Good card designs. Yeah, this is actually pretty solid. Very good. Continuing on, uh, we are going to do pricing cards for a company, uh, Majestic Web Design from the previous uh, episode. Okay, so these are what? Pricing cards. Um, yeah, I don't really have too much of a problem with this. This is actually pretty solid here. I would probably, the one thing I would change is uh, this section right here. So these, 
I would bring those a little bit closer together. Notice there's an inconsistent amount of white space between here and here versus here and here. So I uh, just bring those a little bit close together. Very simple fix, pretty solid otherwise. All right, Gavin is going to be next. Let's close out these other tabs. All righty. I... Let's refresh that. Was there any animation? A little bit of animation. Okay. I already see several things that I would want to change, but what is the thing I want to change the most? Hmm. It's a toss up because there's a couple like, there's like three different things I'd really want to change. Uh, first, it's going to be a white space between these uh, navigation items. That's way too close. You want to spread those out by two to three X the amount of current white space between the nav items. Also, uh, forest bathing is just like lowercase, but the other ones are uppercase. So you're mixing your, your title cases with other types of title cases. Don't do that. You want to be consistent. This right here, forest bathing, whatever that means, I <laughs> center it here. It's kind of strange having all this empty white space. And then finally down here, the white and the gray against the very light green in the background, I d personally don't like. I'd probably make those icons instead of gray, which is bland, I the color of like this this green color here. And then I'd def definitely improve it. Next up is going to be this person, which I cannot pronounce whatever their name is. Isen, Isan, okay. All right, so we definitely have some issues here. Um, and we're gonna have to figure out what it is most that probably needs to be adjusted. Now I'm going to tell you, I already know the answer. The answer here is alignment. Um, and what you're doing is you have a very extended layout at the top from the very left to the right in your hero section. But then down here, like you're completely putting everything like in the middle, like as if it's a phone, like real tiny. So you're going from real big to, to real small and it's throwing off the flow of your layout. So you want to try to get, I would, I would bring in this one a little bit more than what it is, maybe 1200 pixels, 14, 1500 pixels, and then structure the rest of your layout to adhere to that and utilize columns because you have the space available on the large desktop. Um, you also have alignment issues. Like for instance, if we're taking a look at the hero section, it's all the way up here. It ends right there at the top, but then you have this pic this vectorized picture of yourself, which by the way, I think you definitely need to improve and, and figure out something else, but it's all the way down here at the bottom and, and it creates a lot of white space here. So you have alignment issues a lot. That's the big thing that you're going to want to have to fix uh, in this, the context of this design. Definitely take advantage of the designcourse.com UI UX course. Okay. Um, next up is going to be Ham Hamdi Hamdi. Okay. All righty. So I, I see some subtle gradients in here. All right. What is the one thing that I think would need to be changed about this design? Well, first of all, what is it? It's a design system. So input. Okay. So it's basically a design system documentation, perhaps. Okay, so that doesn't work, the theme guide. Um, I would say the one thing I would change is this over here. So if I go and I select this element, I don't, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it, but we'll, tr we'll try it. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, so like 2.3 M units. We want to get that aligned perfectly with the... Uh, the column that's established here. So we want this to be on the same column before, if I refresh it, you'll notice it's not, it's like, there's one right here and then one right here. You could have differ, differing, you know, um, white space in this context when it comes to columns, but it shouldn't be minimal like this, like a, a slight difference. It, it should be a sub substantial difference if it makes sense. And for me, it doesn't make sense. You'd want that on the same column. It's a small change, I. Uh, but yeah, it's a change nonetheless because it just kind of stood out to me instantly. Same thing with this, oops, sorry. Same thing with this over here, this reset button, how it's off to the right. All right, 
very simple. Continuing on uh, is going to be Adam with Meta Control. All right. So it says AutoSync Android with cloud storage. All righty. Trying to figure out what is the one thing I would change here the most. And I know the answer. I think what I would do um, is maybe just a two-pronged approach. It'd be two things. Um, I'm going to get F12 out here. We're going to select this type, and we're going to make color white. Oh, is there some sort of strange like opacity on that? It looks like there is. Yeah, it's 70% opacity. That's why it was not coming in uh, uh, at 100%. All right, so that's better. And then the reason I say that that is better is because you want the attention focused on your headline. And one of the ways that you establish that attention is through color and it's visual hierarchy. So typographic based visual hierarchy. So when these things are, all this text is the same exact color, you lose that visual hierarchy. Um, so making this white, the text, um, helps differentiate and, and, and it'll, it'll help lead the eye more so towards that title. Um, so if I refresh, you'll see the original. And also it results in less contrast, um, but you just kind of, it's a small change, but I think uh, it's one worth making. Um, there's a lot of stuff happening here that's kind of correct. So I don't really have a problem with it. You typically these days don't see these high contrast strokes either. So I might want to get rid of that. Um, but yeah, quite, quite solid otherwise. Other, one other final thing I'll say, um, avoid doing very long lines of text like this. Um, I did a video about this specifically, and it's the length, the number of characters per line based on your font size. And you want to kind of end that at most like, like two thirds, like around here. So you would utilize a two column approach and maybe have an associated icon or illustration or something perhaps over here. Okay, next up is going to be Fluid Creative ESTL. Spent a weekend making this, still working on it. All right. My screen size is just like a 4K monitor and it's uh, maximized with a browser basically. So it's big. All right, so web design, WordPress development, custom branding. This is what we do. Um, we have a contact button up here. I'm not in too in love with the colors here. Um, this blue and the yellow, I'm not sure if that really goes well together. I would probably opt to take this yellow uh, trail effect on the cursor and either make it the same blue or make it white. White is neutral. All right, so let's take a look at the, stack, the tech stack here. This is a, a plugin called Wappalizer. And so it just tells you the current tech stack uh, that a person's using. So looks like it's pretty straightforward. It's WordPress, uh, and that's primarily it. All right, so we have some uh, interesting scroll-based animations where we're scaling that up, so that's nice. All right, we have a bunch of stuff happening here. All righty. All righty. So um, I would say this is this kind of, uh, oh, that's interesting. Um, this kind of breaks what I would consider um, kind of like a general idea about trying to avoid blockiness in a design. So this is a high contrast form kind of cutout. Um, to make it less blocky, I might want to do something like, let's go to F12. Uh, let's grab this. Um, we'll make the background um, white, perhaps. And let's make a splash together. This might be difficult for me to change background image inset. I uh, color, you know, unfortunately, I'm not able to get it to work because you have some crazy stuff being occurring on here. But I would probably make the black, the, the text black. And then obvious, all this stuff would be, I uh, have to contrast well by making the text darker. Um, but I kind of like this approach much more because you already have a gray background here in this image and making it this white um, doesn't make that blockiness effect occur quite as much. That's the one thing I would change there. 
Very solid. You can see you're, you're leveling up in terms of uh, interactivity and motion and integration. Looks like you've got some, uh, this definitely looks like a 3JS or a WebGL effect. So you're definitely, um, from where you came, I think from what I recall, you're definitely improving. So good stuff. Next up is going to be uh, Anik. All righty. All right. Got another cursor effect. That's cool. Um, oh, you can copy your email right there. Interesting. <clears throat> Hi, I'm such and such a UI designer <coughs> <coughs> who codes. All right. Look at look at this uh, majestic stare. You're just looking off to the distance. I There's a lot of people who put their, their pictures in a personal portfolio, which makes sense. A lot of them have low quality photos. This is actually pretty solid. So um, I like what's happening here for the most part. Yeah. Um, let's continue on. We got a smooth scroll. Let's check out the stack, tech stack here. Oh, ah, okay. So we got GSAP, which is a green stock animation platform, which is going to be featured heavily in my upcoming advanced front ends course. Um, Garbage AS is a page transition library in JavaScript. Um, and so I would imagine if I click on some of this stuff, ah, yes. That's that is a uh, Barba JS. It allows you to tie CSS based animations that will transition seamlessly between one page and another. So it kind of emulates what happens like on a React or a Svelte or a Vue or Angular app. Um, but it's it's a lot more simplified and it's specifically for page transitions. Um, so that's some Barba JS is something I will be teaching as well as a part of that course. All right, so let's go back up. What's the one thing I would change? Yeah, this is actually real solid. For me personally, I don't like the amount of white space here and how it's all just white continually. It'd be cool perhaps to do something like this just to work in some variation in the colors. I and what I mean by that, if I take this and I do like a background, I, let me just do blue. That I know that looks kind of crazy. I was just doing that to get a color value so then I can get, you know, perhaps like this color in the shirt and then making it lighter. You know, we could do something like this perhaps. So now we have like this nice, you know, low contrast separator. We come down here. There we go. All right, awesome stuff, very good. Next up is going to be Steve. Hey Gary, guitar of choice. Well, I'm going to show you it right now. Let's get that, rid of that. Oh, this guitar. Look at this guitar. Now, of course, some of it's being hidden. I don't know why. Uh, oh, no, it's not. It's just reflection. I thought my green screen was like tying some of it out. Take a look at this guitar. Oh, it's beautiful. Steve Vai's signature guitar. Ugh. It's called a Pia, and it was like $3,200. I love it, though. I play it all the time. Yes, it is. All right. Um, in fact, if you go, sorry, I know we're doing a live stream. If you type in Gary Simon guitar, you'll see me jamming out on that guitar. Uh, let's right here. Yeah. Yeah, check this one out. Um, Tender Surrender by Steve Vai. Check that out. Here, I'll go ahead and paste it in. You can see me jamming out on that guitar. All right. Next up. Um, what is this exactly? All right. So this is like an open AI refactor, perhaps. Uh, research product, safety company, yada, yada, yada. This is actually very solid. So I don't know, like, so assuming, I'm assuming this is, you know, kind of just a redesign that you did. And this is all your stuff. I, I like it. The one thing I would change, there's going to be one thing, and it's going to be very minor because this is a really solid design, um, is this. I would say a little bit too much white space between those elements. I would bring those up closer together. Um, just to show you real quick, I could switch to file mode and therefore grab at, and I'll just do a quick redo. And I will... 
move that over here just to show you kind of what I would do. So I, I would take these elements, um, reduce those like around there, and then push this like right around here. There. It's a minor, minor adjustment, I know. I. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this is a really solid design, though, so there's not much for me to critique. I, uh, I do like it a lot, though. Very solid. Next up is going to be Johanna. All righty. Okay. No animation or anything, so I refresh just to check that out. And I cannot scroll down, so there's no scroll. This is everything. The biggest thing, the number one thing I would change about this design, um, and it's almost tied for a, a close second for something else as well. And what I would do is I would probably say the biggest thing that needs changed is your alignment. So your vertical alignment. If I get this out, we take this element and you have margin top. Let's override it. Um, no. I wouldn't do this with M's. I would do this in the context of Flexbox or the grid or whatever you're using, but I'm just doing it now just to make my life easy. You want it vertically centered, kind of more like this, as opposed to the original, which is all the way up there, leaving white space here in the bottom. So this is a CSS is issue in order to get these three elements aligned center. Another thing I would change is I... Definitely, I would probably take the UI UX designer and front end developer and put those both equal on the same row centered with the height of your head. So this would be down here. This one would be over here. The whole thing would be moved vertical center in the browser. And then I would make it white. I would make these elements white uh, for maximum contrast. So that's what I would do in the context of that particular design. Um, at this point, we're at about halfway point through our stream. So I am going to mention, um, you know, right now I'm just doing very quick reviews. I, if you do join designcourse.com, the UI UX course, you can also add on what's called mentor. Now, very shortly, like within the next week, we're going to make it so that mentor is it's a subscription that costs roughly 50 bucks a month. Although if you find a coupon, it's cheaper. It allows me to take a look at your work and I will critique it and revise it. Um, I'm, we're making it within the next week so that you don't have to join the UI UX course. You can only join mentorship if you wish. And if you want more info on mentor, just go to the mentor page and there's a landing page that kind of describes exactly what I uh, mentor is all about. So definitely check that out and use the stream code or the stream code stream 23 for 30% off. Check out the UI UX course and all that good stuff. All right. Next up is going to be. Let's see here. APS, savory slice. All right. Okay, there's a couple things that I definitely want to change. And one of them right here, I, I would say, is going to be your card background. The card backgrounds, if I zoom up, they're not different enough. And typically when you have a light color like this as the page background, you have cards sitting on top, it's almost always advisable, in my opinion at least. Um, and it's safest to go ahead and take the background color and just make it white. So background, white. And then I would add a little bit of white space inside. There we go. So if you were to make that changes across all three, those cards are going to stick out better and look a bit better. Additionally, I will say if I zoom up, we could see that this picture of the pizza graphic is not cut out well because you could see the pixelated edges. So try to get a better quality cut out of that if you can. And then finally, I would move down white space. So I, I would have extra white space on the top and beneath. I or maybe not beneath, but definitely on the top of this hero section to get it away, the pizza box away from that, um, the navigation. So, cause it's quite close. All right, next up is going to be W-O-T, water. All righty. Hello, T-N-H-S. All right. All right, sort of an interesting little hero section occurring, you know, where we have like this thin border that's kind of around everything. I 
let me experiment real quick with a couple ideas. So if I take this, it looks like we have a background right there. Um, okay. So let's see if we can play around with this. I uh, maybe I'll grab the background and then we'll make it slightly lighter uh, right there. Okay. Like right there. Now I know it's hard to see, but I have another idea potentially that might work. Let's see here. Main. Let's make the background that color that I just chose. Is it going to work? Why is that giving me? Oh, that's why. All right. So then I would take this element or this one, just do margin bottom. That's not working. Um, one second. I'll get it figured out. Uh, let's do main margin top. Why in the hell isn't that working? Maybe I have to go higher value. Ooh, that's not what I want. Section, there we go. Margin top is going to be 5M. Jesus Christ, why is my margins not working? And I guess I have to go higher. Oh, uh, every time I do it, it's pushing it the wrong thing way. Ah. Uh. That is so strange. It's just this ugly bar that's showing up at the top. What I'm trying to do is create white space to push just this element here down a little bit. I think that would be better. Um, I'm, I don't care how long this takes. I'm going to sit here and go around with this until I get this working. Maybe it's padding top that I need to do. I uh, Ah, there we go. All right. That's better. I like this. I like this approach a little bit better because it's less like a big, like a, a high contrast border. If I refresh this, you'll see the original. So take a, a screenshot in your mind. So yeah, that feels more, this feels more like a banner. I like the, the, the adjustment that I made uh, afterwards. Okay. Um, next up is going to be Muhammad giving me two links. Unfortunately, because a lot of people are waiting, I'm just going to check out this one. Um, so it looks like this is just like a case study. Unfortunately, I mean, it, lo it looks solid, so, but I'm not going to be able to go through all this and pick out one thing. Unfortunately, what I did see looks really solid though. So be proud of yourself. Next one is from Epic Gilma. There's a really loud noise and I think it's my dryer that's going crazy out there. My wife's doing laundry. All right. Okay, this is interesting. All right, so, <laughs> alrighty. I, I like the uh, creativity. One thing I would change, oh uh, yeah, for sure, it's gonna be up over here, so let me show you. Awesome, John, I'm glad it was. Uh, oh, Oppenheimer or Barbie, what did I watch? Neither so far, but if I had the choice, of course it's going to be Oppenheimer. I'm not watching Barbie. I've heard some stuff that it's like, I don't know, propaganda. Maybe maybe, maybe that's true. I don't know. Whatever. I, I would make this uh, smaller if you're going to have a hamburger menu on desktop. Um, but I would also, and I would also move this down. You want some white space. I would also, I um, you know, have your most important links as well. So many times it's not necessary to have a hamburger menu on desktop. It's just because you have so much space to put whatever you need here. So you should at least have like your home portfolio, you know, blah, 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 blah. Um, that's the one thing that it would change. It's additionally, doing this sort of thing, I'm not sure if I agree with that. It's really high contrast. I mean, not high contrast. It's low contrast green because it's low because it's so bright and it's on a bright background um this is just frustrating to read um it's fine as like a design accent like this because it's abstract but your 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 headline i would not do this so it says cleaning the path to clean design uh, okay so that's a little bit wordy we'll go with it though oh there we go 
give ourselves a little bit of line height, give ourselves a little bit of line height here as well. Get that out there and reduce this slightly. There you go. Guess what? We just cleaned the hell out of that design. I gave you a clean path to a clean design. <laughs> oh boy, I make myself laugh. I think I'm the only person that I make laugh anyhow is myself. But yeah, this that's going to be the biggest thing to change right there. All right. Next up is how did you do that? Somebody said, yeah, that's a, uh, it's typically a, um, a shader effect like 3JS. So look into 3JS. All right. So next up is Silly Web. Silly Web. This is a web flow. All right. Uh, project. So home, about us projects, by a design. All right. Nice overlay here. Pretty decent. Um, get the perfect custom design every time. Uh, that's a very funny name, Silly Web. It is silly, I have to say. Um, looking at this though, what's the one thing I think would need? Ah, uh, found it. I found the one thing that needs to change the most, and that is throw away all the borders. Uh, we'll be able to clean that up quite a bit if we just get rid of those borders. So, for instance, um, right here, there's a lot of markup, unfortunately. Um, but if I go over here, border. Okay, there's the one that we got rid of. Here's another one that's on this one. All right, so now we've kind of simplified the design a bit more. I like that better. Another thing I would do is probably not center this content. I Here, I would start it at the top. Um, your labels, this little, let me zoom up a lot. This right here should be, it's too high contrast and it seems like it's like a button. So what I would do to change that real quickly is just to take the background color, get the current background color it's sitting on um, and make it slightly lighter, okay? And then of course we need to take the text inside to give ourselves some contrast. You can make that white and then also readjust the padding. You have 2M on the right and left. So let's take that down to like 1M. All right, and that's a lot better, in my opinion, um, than the high contrast inverse option where they were white backgrounds with black text. All right, next up is going to be jtdadvertising.in. I like the type here. That looks like it's Poppins or something like that. Here's my what font extension. Yep, it is Poppins. All right, I see one thing that should definitely be changed. What's the thing that should be changed the most? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm gonna say your alignment um, with this form right here as well. I'm not a fan of having the 100% fluid uh, navigation from the very left and right over here. So I would get those starting on the same column established by the type and and the navigation right here. So the navigation would probably like start right around here and end over there to the right. Um, additionally, this amount of white space uh, with your placeholder values I or your floating labels, hopefully you use floating labels, uh, is too much white space. So if I click in this and I start typing, guess what? You are using placeholder value. So you shouldn't do that from a UX perspective. It's not like a huge deal, but it's an, it's a, it's an objective UX no-no to use placeholder values um, because when you start typing, you lose the, the label, all right? So now I don't know what the heck I'm, I was supposed to put here. I'm assuming it's my name. Yeah, so research floating labels and how to integrate those with uh, a... I uh, is this one from Charlie. All right. Book a free strategy call now. What does this do? All right. It's kind of strange because it's pointing down and these feel like two different things because they're styled differently. And this is a really large button. So what makes most sense is to condense this button into a single element with your arrow, except 
make it point right, not down, um, and make it this color, the whole color. All right. So what I would do is just to show you real quick is take this, delete that. I will get the this right here and we'll do a background color, which uh, your primary color is right there. Then we'll want to take the color and make that black and reduce the font size. All right. So that's getting better right there. And then. I would put in the um, the icon over here, if you wish, and extend it out all the right, all the way to the right. And then you could probably take the icon, use a display flex, and then justify content um, space between to have your icon over here and then your text over there. That's the one thing I would change probably mo the most part about this design. Although I didn't scroll down enough and I realized there is a, mass, a lot of white space. You're not really utilizing all your space available effectively. So that's a big thing to change as well. Another thing to change, try to avoid mid gray colors like this. When I say mid gray, if I get this out and I get the background color here and I zoom up, you'll see that this is almost pretty much a mid gray. It's a little bit darker, but it's in this range right here. If you're going to go dark, go darker. If you're going to go light, go lighter. Don't hover around these bland colors right there. All right, and then finally, like these cards, I don't like these blocky high contrast cards. I would reverse that. So the background becomes just slightly lighter than the background in which they're sitting. We get rid of the border like that. Uh, let's see, there's some weird stuff happening. Oh no, there we go. And then of course I would take your, um, your type inside of it and make that color white some other issues unfortunately um font weight should be just normal make sure you don't use pixels by the way for your font size use m's or rem units um and with clamp function if you want responsive or fluid typography and then your line height would need to be adjusted as well so like 1.2 m uh, let's try 1.5 m right and then finally that watermark in the background i don't know where that's at yeah here's like one right there We'll make that color, um, let's see, the background more like that. But of course, position absolute, we're going to do Z index one. There we go. So this is a quick refactor of those cards. Take a snapshot of that in your memory. And then if I refresh, you'll see the original. Yeah, I think we, it was definitely an improvement. Next up is going to be, let's check out the chat. Everything's going well. All right, awesome. We're at 43 minutes. Um, is this one? Uh, is a, this is a company I want to create for consulting. All right. All right, grow your business with remote support, virtual agents. It's one thing I would change real quickly as well. Let's get this over here. All righty. One thing I would change is your typographic visual hierarchy between this little subhead and your primary headline. Um, even though it is smaller, I would make it even smaller than that. So 48, let's go to like 30. All right. And if you had a... Um, a different font that provided multiple font weights, which you do not, and it's only regular. I would make this a lighter. So just to show you, oh, that's like the worst. What is that comic freaking sans? It's not, but it looks very similar. Some of these fonts are just ridiculous. I uh, us do pop in. There you go. So that's like better. Now you have a really good vis typographic visual hierarchy between those two elements. Um, next up, just to look at this real quickly. Typography needs work in here. I would say just stick with the same font size for this here and you'll, you'll keep things a little bit more consistent. But yeah, up there, that was the one thing that I would probably change the most. And again, you, you, you wanna make sure that these are stuff like this is centered and you're gonna want higher contrast on those. So you bump those up. Um, this obviously needs a label and all three of these should be floating labels as well. All right, next up.
um, is going to be Fizen. All right. Let me close out some of these windows. All right. Um, digital design and web development studio based in Pakistan. All right. Pretty, pretty solid here. Nice cards. I really like how you've integrated the, um, these, these card thumbnails. A lot of people get that wrong. All right, this is a very minor improvement, but it'll be an improvement nonetheless. Less, rather. Um, let's, let's copy that. Move that over. So I'm never a fan of having um, grays in, 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 in light colors mixed together. So this is gray text. This is gray. This is gray. This is gray. It's going to look a thousand times better if we just make this black. You increase the co the contrast, but you also avoid that gray, just blandness um, in the bad color contrast that results when you're mixing gray with, you know, light colors like this. Uh, same, you could do the same thing with these uh, these little borders right here. They're gray as well. So what you do is you you grab with the eyedropper or the color picker the background they're sitting on. So now you can't see them because they're the same color, but then we take the color picker and we, we make it a little bit darker. We introduce that color like that. That's how you typically deal with these things um, and try to avoid grays. There we go. It's, it's, def it's definitely an improvement. So a minor thing as well. I'll take note of, if I grab everything inside of here, there's more white space on the bottom than there is on the top. So you want to make sure this is vertically aligned uh, in the center. So one way to quickly check out, hit R for your rectangle tool. And there, that's the amount of white space there. That's the amount of white space there. It's pretty much perfect. You're good to go. All right. Next up is going to be Paula. Would love to hear your feedback. It is a portfolio. Here we go. All right. There's a few things that definitely need to be fixed about this. And I'll just, uh, the one thing I would say it needs fixed the most is definitely going to be right here in this area. So I'm not sure how quickly I can iterate over this in, in code, but I will see what we can do. Um, everything should be bigger um, for their font size by a lot. So the font size, oh God. Wait, that just took everything and adjusted it. I put that on the wrong selector. I put it on the asterisk where it effect, affected everything. Um, about paragraph. I wonder if I could do it this way. Font size. Okay. So like 2.5 rem. Your width is kind of small. Your max width. All right. So that's, this fills it up more, but I probably want to text align it. There we go. So now we're making improvements on this hero section because you filled it out more you made it larger because your headline needs to be large and it needs to be the first thing people read so when you have it real small like that that affects the visual hierarchy um so you want to make sure that that is is larger um i would say you do have a lot of icons in this general area right here um so i would probably rethink that rethink your spacing Ooh, miss you hover over it and this goes to blue the, the the lack of contrast and it almost hurts your eyes you want to avoid that entirely um what i would do in this case probably just make that button black with white text so that it stands out a lot and put it right here and then these elements again don't do that hover thing that you're doing right there with the, the bright blue on the pink i i would put them maybe off to the right so that's the one thing that I would change the most about these design. And then so, uh, additionally, outside of that, uh, you have enough space for three cards here. So three columns, because otherwise you have all this empty space here, here, and here, and it just kind of throws off the flow of the layout. You want to have good uh, fill of your layout on the very left and the very right of your columns. And you're not doing that here. So it just kind of looks unspaced and uneven. Okay. All right. 
I hope those of you I'm helping, if you haven't joined the UI UX course yet, I hope you do. And you take advantage of the stream 23 coupon code. Uh, you'll definitely improve. Next up, at the very beginning of the quick draft on a project I'm working for, let us check it out. All righty. Why is this outlined in green? Hmm, I don't know. I but that's throwing me off. So let's uh You are welcome. All right. Let's uh move this over. Oh. Why is the green not showing up over here? What it is over here. It's interesting. Well, whatever. Okay. What I would do is take this still. Oh, darn. It's a, it's a weird font that I don't have access to. So let's just do something similar. Get that centered up. Maybe even make it black. Make this a little bit smaller. I like this better. Notice it just has what's called typographic visual hierarchy. So like the the um, the headline is a lot more noticeable. It's higher contrast, it's larger and it's thicker. Um, and then we have the subheadline underneath it. And there's, there's a lot of contrast between both of these types of type. Uh, so I think that works out pretty well in that regard. I mean, you could even, you know, make this larger and reduce the line height here there's a lot of ways you can approach it and a lot of ways to fix it additionally you don't want to have all your type a, a, a unique color like this um so you want to rethink that as well you know make that um, that color again how we'll make this go smaller again i know i'm playing around with the colors here um you know you could use this brown uh, but maybe go a little bit darker. But I don't have the fonts that this person was working with, so I'm just kind of working quickly. But yeah, the, the hero section, definitely I would improve that as well, uh, like this. Awesome. Next up is going to be uh, wealthy wealthwisely.tech. Equipping your online presence. Ooh, holy low contrast Batman. That's definitely going to be the thing that we need to change the most. Notice you can barely read this type. And so if I get at F12 and we get this type here, uh, that type is really lacking in contrast. Uh, so what I would do is take it. There we go. <laughs> I... This here, you can actually read. I refresh it. You cannot read this barely. I mean, it's very difficult uh, to read that. So you want to increase it. That's the one thing that I would be uh, fixing about this design the most. All right. Next up is going to be test website beige. Okay. Let's build your dream project together. View prices. Okay. All right, so this is the first time you have color. And it's, it's a nice color right here. It's a little blue mixed with perks, purple, mainly blue though. Um, I would like to see that being integrated elsewhere in your design and maybe not in the context of just like a big linear gradient like this. Um, you know, if I go here and I look at the color of your buttons, so your button background, I you're using some crazy value here. Let me see. I would take like, for instance, this, this, this color. Um, no, that's not the blue you were using, but it was something more like right around there. That looks a lot better. I'd probably make the font weight bold. Like that. 
that's a lot better than this version right here. Also, it's a little bland. I texturize the background somehow, create texture, you use accent graphics just to make it more interesting because it's quite bland. All right. Um, next up is going to be first website, still working on it. Love any feedback. First website. This is always exciting and scary at the same time. <laughs> All righty. I, hello, I am a digital humanist designer slash developer. Interesting font here. It works for something like a headline. I'm fine with that. You wouldn't want to use it too much more. It's a little bit much though, when you're using it, like on these elements, perhaps, um, coming down here. And again, one thing I probably would change as well, just to really help solidify the uh, headline and make it stand out on its own. We make that text black right here. Um, outside of that, obviously we have some issues with the CSS as this part is not expanding to accommodate for the extra lines of type. So looks like you might've worked in maybe like an explicit height. Um, yes, you did. So, yep, that's the fix. And I wouldn't be mixing probably this blue, you know, I, it might be safer to do black or something like that. Um, cause it, there's a lot of different colors here, but they don't seem to make sense. Uh, cause some of them are the same color and some aren't. So I would simplify that area and also probably because there's so many rows, there's four, four rows. I expand out your design more so this way, and then put three per row. All right, next up is going to be, uh, all right. Again, another thing, very bland at texture at graphic accents here in some way, shape or form. So when you only have like two projects, I you want to fill out that space more. And in the context of a of a desktop resolution where you have a lot of, you know, horizontal width, you want to utilize columns and not stack things on top of each other in rows. So I would two column approach for each one of these and start and talk about them a little bit more. Don't just do a single sentence. You want to make it look like you want, and you definitely want to have case studies for each one of them hosted on your website right here. Uh, you don't want you, you don't want to just link them to it and barely say anything about it. It just leaves a lot to be desired. Uh, so when you click learn more, this should be more of like a case study that's hosted on this page, uh, maybe with a cool page transition animation with something like Barba JS, or if you're using something like View or whatever, I uh, or React, you can work in page transition. Create yeah, page transition animations in there as well. All right. Uh, we're going to do, we have time for one more here. Um, and don't leave yet either if you're watching this video. Um, here we go. Jewish contributions. Oh boy. This is very bright and it's extremely busy. So your issue here is busyness. You want to simplify this design much more uh, because this is a lot of type over here, even though it's an image form. Um, and, and so I would say the biggest change to make about this one is going to be the simplify, simplify, simplify uh, as much as possible. There's just too much type and too much, too many things and stuff happening here. Oh, what is up, Carson? K-R-V-X plays. That is a... I, my local friend's son just had a birthday yesterday. Happy birthday. All right. Uh, so as always, if you all want to learn UI UX, definitely check out the UI UX course here. It's interactive. There's like 18 plus hours worth of content. There's also interactive modules. There's an optional add-on where I will review your work. Uh, so definitely check out Mentor. Um, of course, there's other courses as well. Let me go back here. Um, under training, there's an interactive CSS course. And then there's also the upcoming advanced front end course where if you go to designcourse.com forward slash AF, you can enter your email address to be notified when this releases sometime this year. There will be a pre-launch release where you can grab it for a discounted price while I work on building it out. So we're going to learn stuff like basic JavaScript. 
and then Greensock Animation Platform, and then Barba JS, and then a little 3JS as well to create really awesome interactive website experiences. So as always, I, I will see everybody next time I do this. Perhaps we'll do this again next week. If I didn't get to your review, and I know there's people complaining right now, I don't worry. I just make sure you idle in the Discord server. And when I make the news announcement, which is typically like an hour or two before I go live, you can hurry up and submit yours in the, uh, the, the correct channel. All right, everybody. So hopefully you all take advantage of the stream 23 coupon where you get 30% off. I'll leave it up and uh, available to use here for an hour or two while you decide to get your credit card out and purchase the course. All right, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed that and I'll see you all very soon. All right. Goodbye and broadcast.